hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel i want to show you what we got here we got this sandbar this is hisense ax 5100g sandbar this baby here is with wireless subwoofer two rear speakers the audio power for this sandbar is 340 watts this sandbar is beautiful what we want to do is check it out order this sandbar from amazon.co.uk this sandbar can hook it up to your tv via bluetooth optical cable and usb you can also connect this with coaxial and axial we want to check this out and see what is inside and i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this sandbar So what is in here, this is optical cable and HDMI cable, the power cables, this is the wires, information pack. There we go. This is beautiful. Let's see what it looks like. This is the sun back here. There we go. I say sun by AX5100G, 5100G, 340 watts, maximum audio power, 5.1 channel, surround enjoyment, 7 powerful speakers, feel every note, AI equalizer mode, optimized sound enjoyment, simplicity in sound, Roku TV ready, E. Z play Bluetooth 5.0 multi connection. So this is metal 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 grill high sense DTS 5.1 home Dolby Atmos Sandbar. This is 
de Rias Picas. Wireless subwoofer. Beautiful. Look at that. With, with metal grill in front of it. Sense. This is the second speaker. Let's see what it looks like. This is the second one. So there, this is what is in here, optical cable, HDMI cable, power cable, information pack, and the soundbar, and the two rear speakers. You also have the button here for you to switch this on, and this is the input, increase the volume and decrease the volume. Just going to measure this. This soundbar is 92 centimeter and 9 centimeter. So you can call it length and weight. The weight is nine centimeter, length is 92 centimeter. What we want to do is to show you how to set this up. This soundbar is with wireless subwoofer and two rear speakers. Optical cable is included. HDMI cable is included in the packaging. And this is the power cables. And this is for you to connect the speakers. Now, first of all, let's open this up. So we've got three power cables here. So the power cable is for the speaker, the soundbar, and subwoofer. From the sandbar, the port, you have HDMI arc, USB, optical, oxy, and coaxial. Now let's measure this sandbar so that we know. So from this end, 92 centimeters okay so this is 92 centimeter is 9 centimeter so 9 centimeter width or the length if you like is 92 the subwoofer is 22 centimeter 22 centimeter from front to the back is 30 centimeter so the power cable goes into the the power cable goes in here 
Just so push the block a bit inside. Plug it, plug it onto the socket. You can see, hello. So this is to show you that it's on. Okay, now. So what? This is the wire for this speakers and the remote remote control and the remote control got triple air battery here so you put the battery inside So you just take negative to the negative end and positive to the positive end and close slide this up to close it the remote you also have this this force I think it's part, part of the stand if you like So this speaker just goes this wire goes in here and the other one goes into the second speaker. Okay. Now take one of the cable and plug this plug plug it onto this speaker. The one that is a bit bent is the one I will use for the speaker. Okay. Now plug plug in the speakers to the power socket and the light is here. You can see the blue light is highlighting. Now take the other power cable and connect it to the subwoofer at the back here so push the cable inside if you want to reset this sub subwoofer you, you press this button here for you to reset it now I'm going to plug this on to the power And if you look, the sandbar is also showing us blue color and the speakers showing us blue color here as well. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to connect this to audio via Bluetooth device. I'm going to connect this using my mobile phone and you can see it's showing us optical. So from this remote control you switch you can say you switch this off from here then switch it back on once you switch it on show you hello then use the input to select this optical go axial axial usb no bt e -ac, optical then select bluetooth n o slash bt now go to your mobile phone and switch on the bluetooth in your mobile phone switch the bluetooth on and then scroll down and look for hisense ax5100g okay so 
Bluetooth pairing request with Hisense. Select pair. So it's connected. So you have two options. Either you use app or you select the second option for Bluetooth. I'll be showing us now BT in. Okay. So now it's in Bluetooth. And if you scroll down to the mobile phone, it will show you Bluetooth has sense connected for audio. Now we want to test the audio using epidemic sound. Epidemic sound is music for content creator. Okay, once you log in, select the music. This is the audio. Beautiful. And this is this is bus one. This is Saran. This is So it, it, it can just tap, it can tap on top to increase the volume, also tap to decrease the volume. So you can also control the volume by tapping here if you haven't got a remote control. Beautiful.
So, so this is news, sports, night. So use this button to select the mode AI. Movie. This is music. <laughs> 